Alright right, everyone, today I'm going to be talking about the Simer. It's an AK variant, I can't remember what it's called, is it the Ames or something? It's like an, an Egyptian copy of an AK basically. Now this is built on the exact same platform as pretty much all the other Simer AKs. The only thing that changes is the stock and the furniture. So basically what you were getting is mostly steel and wood. These cost about 120 quid. I will happily go on record as saying Simer AKs are the best value money gun you can get today. They always have been in my opinions and they will continue to be so for quite some time. Now the barrel obviously is going to be aluminium. For law, for legal sake you can't go making them out of steel otherwise you get into a pretty ropey territory. But the gun itself feels absolutely solid. I have no complaints about it whatsoever in regards to its build quality. There are a couple of little annoying things on it, we will address that later. But if you are after a battle ready rifle that you can go out straight into the field and use, this is the one for you. Some of them can be shooting a little hot, about 350 feet per second, but on most websites there are typically options to downgrade it. Now, the rifle itself, if you're after something that's ready as a package, as I mentioned earlier, this is the one to go for. Because not only are you getting steel and wood, comes at a battery and charger and this one come with two magazines they were high caps everyone knows I don't like high caps but if you're starting off they're pretty much perfect two high caps you're holding about 500 BBs you're good to go for the day with that I mean this thing I just can't believe how impressive it really is with the 8.4 volt stick battery which goes under the dust cover and straight through here you're looking around 800 rounds a minute now that's a little high for an AK in my opinion, but it's a sweet spot for a gun like this. You're competitive with pretty much everything else on the field, apart from those high pressure there, you know, they plug into all that and all that stuff. They're putting like 5 million BBs a, a millisecond or something. But no, you get one of these, you can't go wrong with it. Now this also has a quirky little feature, as you're probably going to see in the video overlay. They actually have a mechanical blowback. So there's little rods are connected into the gearbox, so when the piston moves back, the bolt moves back with it, so you get a similar to blowback. You don't get any recoil, but it, it disguises the mechanical wine out of the motor. So it sounds a little better, you know. You know, if it's such an affordable rifle, it's a nifty little feature. Now this one does have a little weird folding stock, you just push a button on the trunnion thing here, fold it out. It ain't the most comfortable stock in the world, but it works. It really does work. Um, if you're wearing quite a padded jacket or thicker heavy clothing, having a little stock like this, it really does work wonders. You've tried shouldering something like an M4 stock or something, and you've got really heavy clothing on, it can be quite uncomfortable. Because this is such low profile, you can tuck it into any available space you have on your shoulder. That's not covered by pouches or armour or whatever. And you can really get it in there. Obviously on the real rifle, the recoil will be quite uncomfortable, but because we're not talking about a real rifle here, that's not an issue. So you take your benefits where you can get them. Me and Simon, this thing will last longer than me and you, more than likely. Use a standard version 3 gearbox and a bog standard motor. I'm not giving you technical breakdown because if you're after an entry level rifle, that's going straight over your head. Basically, it's going to work. This rifle has one flaw, however. All of the Simon AKs share this. So I'm not going to demonstrate it in here, but basically you put into full auto, you're firing away. Okay, what happens is eventually it drops down into semi. You can't remedy this by undoing this little nub here and tightening the screw down. And it will be a bit firm in the selector switch, but eventually it does come loose again. So you do need a little bit of thread lock on there. These have been an issue on Simon AKs for years and I don't know why they haven't fixed it. It's quite annoying and a little perplexing really, but it's one of them things. As I said before in my other videos, Chinese brands cook on us. And let's be honest, for about 130 quid, what can you expect? This thing is absolutely, for what I can say, is amazing. The build quality is right up there. It doesn't feel that far off from a real AK. The only thing that gives it away is the pistol grip. But all in all, I cannot fault this thing at all. As you can probably see from the pictures, it looks the part, it feels the part. So if you're after something a bit different that stands out from the crowd, but also to turn some heads this as well, go for one of these. 